Hello again, friends. Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional on this Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. I thought today we'd go back to the Old Testament and talk about where do we find wisdom to live the best life. Think about what's happening in our world today and you realize that we've lost some good things. I, I saw something about how kids have to grow up differently today than they used to. You know, when I was a kid, you could get on your bike and you could ride all over the neighborhood and there wasn't any concern that something bad was going to happen to you. I remember when we uh, had our kids at home and they were going to school that the boys started riding their bikes and it was about time that Katie was old enough to and there was a terrible crime in our city and we decided we couldn't allow her to do it and she didn't feel safe doing it. And what a different world they grew up in. And I think it's even worse today. You have to say, where did this unraveling happen? And, and I would say it happened, this is the fruit of a culture that has turned their back on God and decided that they know best. The Bible says we don't know best, that God knows best, and we, we need to conform our life to His will. Psalm 111.10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow His precepts have good understanding. To Him belongs eternal praise. Nowadays, people have gotten so biblically illiterate that they're even concerned about this idea of the fear of the Lord. Oh, we shouldn't fear the Lord. God is love. Well, I don't believe that we should have abject terror of God that makes us turn away from Him. Obviously, the rest of the Bible belies that idea. The Bible says that we should come to God and that uh, those who seek Him are rewarded. So, this is not a fear that's a terror, but the idea that we should respect God and take Him seriously. That we can't just say, well, God loves me, so... I can get away with anything, but that we should be looking at his laws and his precepts and say, well, if God says this is best, then I'd better take that seriously and follow it, to be faithful disciples of God. You know, if you look at the things that are bedeviling our world today, God has the answers to a lot of those things. I think one thing is we gotta turn back to God. You know, when when you follow God, there's a built-in incentive, just emotionally speaking, to doing the right thing. We serve a God who will one day judge us. And I want God to be able to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Let alone the idea that when you come to God, there's a supernatural element where God puts his spirit in you and helps you to do better. People have objected saying, well, are you saying you can't be a good person? and be an atheist. And I'd say, well, I I believe you can be. At least you can make some good choices. But you look at the world around you and you see there's some problems when we turn away from God. Second thing is God has a lot to say about family. I think God thinks family is important. I don't think our culture does. Many of our social problems Many of our governmental problems stem from the idea that the family has been ripped to shreds. If we could just have people stay faithful to one another and raise their children together, wait to have children until they're in a loving married relationship, that would solve so many things. We shouldn't be surprised that we have problems today when we turned our back on God's way of doing the family. So we should go back to the fear of the Lord. And that's the beginning of wisdom. When you, when you respect God, when you put Him first, you may not know everything, but at least you've got a good foundation and you can start to learn the right way to live life. So it's the beginning of wisdom. And if we follow His precepts, we have good understanding. This isn't about salvation. Salvation is what we get when we just give our life to God in the first place. And he says that our sins are forgiven. But when we have given our life to him, our life should never be the same. And we should fear him, take him seriously, 
and follow him in all of his ways because we trust that he is best. Do you put your confidence in God? That's the way to live. And you will be blessed and everyone around you will be as well. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for teaching us to follow you. Thank you that you have not been silent about how we should live, but you've given us good commands, good precepts. I pray, Father, that you'd also give us the ability to follow you. May we have the desire, and may your Holy Spirit give us the power to live our lives for you. And Father, we may not be able to change the whole world, but when we change, the world changes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. I love you. Hope to, that uh, this has been a blessing to you. And tomorrow night, we'll go back to our Bible study. We're going through the book of Daniel. God bless and take care. I love you all.